Manchester United maintained its lead in the Kenyan Premier League despite a thrilling Baron draw with Karabangi Sharks. At the Kasarani Stadium, Bandari stayed second even after Kakamega Homeboys shattered their unbeaten run with a 4 0 demolition. Wednesday football action across the country also featured a full buffet of National Super League. Sean Cadovilis was on the football beat. The pick of Wednesday's four Kenyan Premier League matches and the goalless as Kariobangi Sharks and Mathari United maintained their unbeaten runs. The action was end to end with both teams hitting the woodwork. Sharks will feel hard done by after having a goal disallowed for offside and also missing out on a possible penalty decision. And Mathari stayed top on 24 points while Sharks remained fifth with 15 points. I think uh, the other team might be satisfied with one point. Because they, you, can, you, can, you can tell the lead they have already taken. Yeah? Uh, if you compare them with us, uh, we are nine points adrift. Although they have uh, one match uh, ahead of us. It's one point gained. Because if you look at the load that the players had to go 72 hours after the match on Sunday, and also the quality of the opponent, you know, coming from um, um, almost a seven, eight days tournament, you, know, you gel a lot. And especially when you're a champion, you get so motivated. So the match ending goalless and both teams guilty of squandering chances and Kariobangi Sharks are probably the more frustrated out of the teams uh, because they're so far behind Mathari United. In other KPL matches Wednesday, player and interim coach Alan Wanga scored twice as Kakamega homeboys thrashed Bandari 4-0. Rwandan striker Jacques Twisinge scored twice as Gorma here beat Sony Sugar 2-0 and AFC Leopards suffered their third loss of the season losing 1-0 to Zoo. <laughs> There were 22 goals scored in the 10 National Super League matches played Wednesday across the country. Eldoret Youth and Kisumu All-Stars played out to a 1-1 draw at the Eldoret Showground. Joseph Oyugi put the hosts ahead, but Dennis Ocheng equalized for the visitors. Vile vijana mecheza, mineza sema, they have played well, they have played better. Uh, having lost two consecutive games away, I think uh, there is something coming up. In the pick of other NSL matches, Wazito beat Modern Coast 2-1, Nairobi Steamer pipped Talanta 1-0, and Ashuru taxed Bitco 2-0. Meanwhile, Shabana's woes continued with a 1-0 home loss to Coast Steamer. Sean Cardavillis, NTV. Oh, <laughs> no,